readers, I'm Jewel Quinlan and I'm a romance author and you've stumbled on a playlist about my own personal happy ev happily ever after and um, in this episode uh, I just wanted to share the experience I had of the ups and downs of being single until 50. <laughs> That's a long time if you think about it. Um, I'm engaged, as many of you know from my other videos, and I'll be getting married at the end of August this year in 2024, and um, I was just reflecting on what a long journey it's been. In most people's lives, right, they get married at a much younger age and they share a lot of these life stages, they share, you know, Everyone's going to each other's weddings at a certain stage in life, and then they're having kids, and then they're talking about parenting and, you know, buying homes and all these things. And so when you're single as long as I have been, you kind of miss out on all of those life stages that other people have. And it just seems like a very long time that you're dating, especially if... Um, you're like me and you sort of decide um, or are able to decide pretty early on in your dating journeys that certain relationships aren't right for you. Um, so in my case, I didn't have very many long, like years long monogamous relationships. Um, and in between, like I would go out and start dating again and maybe find someone I like for a while, but then it didn't work out, but in, in between I would have to take a long break from dating <laughs> anyone, if that makes sense. I don't know if any of you guys are like me. Um, and I would need to sort of uh, regroup and gather my energy and feel like I really was back to my own center before I would journey back out into dating someone again. I think it's more like a regaining of balance, so to speak. And so it, it's, it's a challenge, you know, staying, um, staying single until you're 50. And for me, what I found is what really helped me, and that's what I really want to get to, is what really helped me is to just continue to live my life and continue to strive for um, those experiences I wanted to have in my life, whether it be travel or uh, going to some kind of concert that's been always on my bucket list, rather than waiting for someone to come with me, you know, because you can get, sorry, this blue light, I got to put a piece of tape over it, <laughs> um, because you can get stuck in this thing where you're just always waiting for someone to go with you, right, whether it's that special significant other or a friend or whatever, so I've actually ended up doing a lot of things solo in my life, I've taken multiple trips overseas to Europe um, to go places I wanted to go, like whether it be a snowboarding vacation or some kind of, you know, um, I love <laughs> I love EDM, so I like to go to those big concerts like Electric Daisy Carnival or um, things like that. So I've done those things in my life. And n not saying that it's easy. I think it was easier for me because I was a field sales rep for many, many years. And I got kind of used to stopping somewhere to have lunch or you know, you're on the road doing some overnights and you have to go spend a couple nights in a hotel. But then, you know, if you're in a hotel, then you have to go out and eat dinner and you're by yourself. <laughs> so you kind of just get used to it. Um, that's not to say, you know, when it's for work, it's a little different than when you're on vacation. Because I multiple times I went on vacation and I would have to, you know, the first day go down to the breakfast room and sit there and eat by myself. And I'm not going to lie, I had some little sort of anxiety attacks before going down but eventually you just get hungry enough that you go down you eat and you you know no one really cares actually or if they did you're not gonna ever see them again most times I'll be honest with you what would happen in most of my vacations is I would meet really really cool people both men and women that were also traveling and we would end up hanging out so I tended not to ever be alone um, whether it was people at the hotel or someone um, I've met um, other people snowboarding that, you know, when, when you're out um, on the slopes, your friends might not be the same level, but then you'll find someone else who is that's sort of on their own 
and then you end up meeting their friends at lunch or really really cool things happen um when you when you get out there and you go out and you you do the things you love and you get that fulfillment of living your life and it's not on hold and there's not like this you know huge burden or expectation that when you do find that special someone that all of a sudden you got to start you know knocking all these wish list things out because you've taken care of that and you'll have um new more exciting wish list things to come and your partner's going to bring their wish list items as well and that's kind of how how it is for us like i've knocked out some really amazing things i don't feel like i've missed out and um i mean fortunately i didn't um ever want children because that would have been a very difficult thing to adjust to as well but um for me it's been really cool because my fiance you know we're we have this whole new plan or wish list of things that we want to do together now and you know we both bring to the table some really cool experiences already so that that I just wanted to to bring that up because you can you know survive (laughs) living your life essentially um, without have ever having been married and I'm just really glad I finally met my partner because that's what I always did want it was something big on my list that I always did want you know at one point I did have to sort of come to terms and and accept that possibly I may never meet someone or get married and that's a whole other discussion but in the meantime I mean my my key thing that I would say is you know go out and have fun go and enjoy your life okay, fine, so you're going to miss out on some of these life stages that other people have, but there's lots of other really, really cool things out there to experience as well, (laughs) in addition to or in place of or whatever you want to say. So I would just encourage you and just be brave and and live your life. And that'll make you a much more well-rounded person as well, so that when your special someone does come, I mean, that's how I personally feel. I only want to talk about my journey. I don't want to um, give advice here or anything, but just, uh, it's more like encouragement. <laughs> so that was, that was my journey with the ups and downs. It wasn't always easy. Um, but I think that's what kept me, kept me, um, in a positive mindset, if you will, and just feeling well-rounded and, and yeah. So anyway, if that discussion, uh, was interesting for you, thanks for being here and watching this video. All right. Bye.